Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a early evening episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted. It is currently 1931, or 31 past 7, on the 5th of July 2020. I hope I'm finding you all in a good state of financial, physical and just general mental well-being. If I'm not, I do hope things get better very, very soon, and I do hope all of the shops and everything are open enough for us to enjoy in good, you know, orderly time and fashion, and I hope that considering the pubs have recently reopened in the UK, that everyone is using their services in a responsible and safe manner. But anyway, on to the drink of today's episode. So, uh, many of you will remember that I recently reviewed a beer by Jubel, and they are kind of like, not really a craft brewery, but like they're a beer that, brewery that kind of follow a few craft kind of ideas, like mixing standard sort of lager and beer with like interesting flavors and then brewing it in a way where that flavor is the underlying taste throughout so i i do quite like their product um or at least the ones that i've tried from them so far now so far i've only tried the peach flavor beer that they've done and today we're going to be taking a look at jubel beer cut with elderflower now again i got this from sainsbury's for 179 which i think is pretty good price for a bottle of this size for a 330 milliliters. Again, same as the peach one, it is 4% alcohol volume. I quite like the mix of colors against like the dark brown of the bottle. It's like a very nice contrast of like neutral and sort of slightly more, you know, mellow colors. So I'll give it a solid 8.5 out of 10 for the design of the bottle and the uh, label and everything. But let's give it a sniff and hopefully give ourselves a good first impression and hope that it doesn't smell like stale old pee. And Let's give ourselves a good whiff of this. Oh yeah, you can definitely, it definitely smells like elderflower lemonade actually, like really classic British countryside elderflower cordial or something like that. Yeah, it smells like the elderflower and grape cordial my grandma used to serve us when, we sh when we'd go round hers for dinner in North London, but anyway, I think I'll give it, um, I think I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for the smell, it smells quite nice, very pleasant. Uh, I think the elderflower aspect is a little bit overpowering, but it still smells quite nice. So, quick palate cleanser of water before we actually taste this thing. And now, let's see what it actually tastes like. So, bottoms up. Doesn't taste as harsh or as um, overpowering as the smell would have you believe. Like, because I, I thought it'd be way too strong of a taste of elderflower from the taste, but it's actually quite mild and very pleasant. Like, if I'm going to be honest, this just tastes like kind of like a slightly fermented um, elderflower cordial juice, but. That being said, that's not necessarily a bad thing, and it has been brewed very well. It does taste good, so... Mm. Like, there's not really much of a beer taste to it. But, like, there is a bit of one, like, throughout, but it's, like, very light compared against this, like, gloopy, gluey sort of, like, aftertaste, which is a bit strange. But, like, everything is tied together really nicely with this overall taste of fermented like elderflower um that is actually really nice and it, really that's all i can say about it it just tastes like fermented elderflower juice well, albeit the fermented part of it tastes very mild so you could quite easily knock back a few of these and it probably wouldn't affect you too much and you'd probably have a great time just enjoying yourself R really overall this is probably a, this is probably a slightly more balanced um flavor than the peach one because the peach one was nice and it was more distinctive but the elderflower one, while it, it while its flavour is a bit more one note, it's not as overpowering as the flavour in the peach one because the peach one did kind of have a tendency to just kind of just blow you away with just the sheer taste of like peach and uh, the, the the beer taste was overrun a bit by that. Now it that does happen a similar little way in this, but I feel like the flavour is generally much more balanced in this overall, and the finish is a little bit smoother as well. So. Overall, I would say this is slightly better. Um, 
say I'd say like probably like a 8.25 because it honestly is really near to being elite level I think if it just got rid of the weird like gloopy sort of weird gluey taste at the end which is quite strange but thankfully not too much of an issue I think if they got rid of that this would probably quite easily be like an 8.5 at least but still I think this is really nice I would actually recommend this I think I probably prefer it slightly more to the peach one so I'm going to get some more of these for myself in the future definitely if it's only 179 again for a bottle in the future because that is a bloody good price for this so I hope you guys yeah found this somewhat informative if you didn't find it enjoyable uh, if you did, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for drinks you'd like to see in the future on Ted the Booze Cellar, let me know in the comments section below. And if you want to check out any of my other online activities, I'll leave the links to my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description below. But, as always, I've been Ted. Have fun, stay safe, wash your hands, take a mask with you when you go out to the shops, uh, drink responsibly, know your limits, take care of your family, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.